Take three. <laughs> what up, Pogo Peeps? Hi, how are you? Oh my god. This is why I should actually write stuff down. But then again, I still wouldn't. Okay. Twice already I've had to... Do, I didn't have to. I wanted to do this video, but it's been... All mixed up, all jumbled, all over the place. Jump from here to there. Now, I'm trying to think. When all my life I've noticed there's not something not right there, you know, I having I was having mental health issues and I didn't know how to process process anything. And I still don't. But over the years and with the help of believe it or not, an ex that I'm so grateful for it and I'm sorry for everything. You know who you are if you watch this. Um, I, it, whew, it's been a lot. <laughs> I've been a lot. I've been through my fair share. I'll just throw it that way. This is going to be a messy video. <laughs> I'll show you that. So, if you've been watching me from the time I had a laptop that was janky, uh, I think it was, an, I can't even remember what it was, but it's the first, well, not in school laptop. I had, and when I went to college, I had one, and I had to give it back, but that's another story. I was married, and I didn't treat this person right. I, I had a lot of mental health issues, still do. I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm taking meds. I'm doing mental health work as much as I can. Um, so. <sighs> I just <laughs> been through my fair share, I'll just say again. And when I started this, vi this video, when I started this channel, really, I just started for something to do. Nothing made sense. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> Nothing my butt does make sense sometimes. I swear. And I'd watch channels like um, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. Um... Which led into the haunted world of CW, Claire Williamson, and you know, etc., 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 and Christabel, and I, I felt I could just be my goofy, goofy self, not to worry about anything. But I had to worry about stuff. I had stuff happen. Yeah, I don't want to get into it, to be honest, until I feel right. And I'm not there yet. But I was watching Strawberry 17. And she was, you know, going through her hair journey. And although... Have I mentioned I have no idea how to edit? I'm very socially awkward and I've had many interesting haircuts. Um, guess I did. <laughs> um,
when we moved back down here and I started to see a doctor, regular doctor, with the health insurance, that I felt listened to, that understood that I was diagnosed with depression. And then I, w I went, was it? With my friend to the walk-in clinic because she had an issue. And here's the table, doctor, nurse, and why I stood this, the wall, the corner of the wall, and the table, I don't know. And I've seen gross stuff. And it's never really been too much of an issue, but this one time, it was. So what happened was I ended up falling, blacking out, falling, hitting my head, and it made, I mentioned I had, I suffered from migraines for, since I can remember, made my, for me, for me, um, made my migraines worse. And at first the doctor said, I didn't have a concussion, I had a concussion. And my ex and my parents, well, mom, and could tell ya, I had a concussion. It wasn't, and going back into the migraines that made the migraines worse, and um, and then I got diagnosed with at the time was. Post concussive syndrome. Now I don't know if that's. Don't get me wrong. I'm not much of a. I don't know if it. If the. Is a short term diagnosis or it's a long term, but. Top on top of that, mental health and everything else. So something happened. That finally clicked. I was connected to a counselor and a doctor. No, I'm leaving a lot of parts out. So just like I said, this video is going to be messy. So it <laughs> it's let's see here. I was something happened that. I was diagnosed by a counselor and continue to see this counselor with what is, from what I understand, um, major depressive disorder, which is one of the, I want to say one of the type of depression, and I'm on, now through the time of my diagnosis, I've been switched on meds, tweaked meds, and right now I'm to a point where I'm all right. I've had stuff happen to where everything came together. I have an awesome support, support team. Um, my, my family support system, that's what I want to say. My, you know, it sounds corny, but my mom, um, two of my best friend, well, a few of my best friends, uh, my dogs, and medications. Now, oh Jesus, um, I'm st still work in progress. That will never change, but. I also have panic attacks and and or anxiety. And if you know if you know all these and you suffer from them, you understand. But I'm I'm I have trying different coping mechanisms to kind of okay take it down. And now I can sit back as a 
40 year two year old lady yeah 42 and realize that a much better place than it was maybe 10 so years ago but I'm not I'm not out of everything. Oh, I don't know how to say this. I'm a working father, so I'll just keep it at that. And, like I said, now, having said that, I have a family history. And then everything on top of that, you know, piles and piles. So, Having said that, if I'm throwing this out there, if I can find the resources, there are resources out there. Ask for help. It's all right. As they say, it's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to ask for help. Um. Yeah. <laughs> But if you need help, ask for it. You know, whether it be a friend. Ooh. Um, just someone you can trust. You know, if, if you're not taken seriously, keep going. Because you know yourself. Is what I'm trying to say. Shh. shh. Um, yeah, so, once again, I have issues. <laughs> I've said this for many years, when I knew what issues I had, and now I have possibly, as I said in my last video, what I believe is R RLS, or some of the you know, I'm not full blown. I'm not here to treat diagnose, but I've talked to my doctors. I've voiced my concerns, so I got blood tests. I have various gold veins inherited, and well, I'm a big old girl. Um, and I. Oh, I have. had my vein mapping which is cool in itself because it's ultrasound jelly and they sit there and they take the ultrasound of your veins and they can you know they squeeze and it's cool so that and I have to make an appointment with the vein, vein doctor to because I'm a Good candidate for laser vein. I can't think about it, what the word is, but I did go and get compression pantyhose. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. So, and yes, this video is long and it's all over the place, but. Okay then. I I don't know what I want to say. I've been my fair share. I'm working on myself again for the billion time. If you know a son that needs help or you need help and you have someone that you trust or you call or you text a hotline, do it. Trust me. You would, you will save your life and or someone else's. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I love you guys. <laughs> Stay safe. Thanks for hanging out.
Well, me and uh, Video or video. Memory of the Grumpy Pugmo, a sassy porgy, a bratty bug, and a silly golden doodle. Uh, yeah. Everything down below. Love you guys. Bye.